Hello everyone, and welcome back to an Indie World reaction. Last time we had one of these. We had some new D DLC for Cadence of Hyrule, and the DLC looked pretty fine. Like especially the third one, which had an entirely new place, entirely new mechanics. So that, that was a very good announcement, but everything else there was kind of nobody cares at all-ish, so... However, now, we have this Indie World, which has two very different things about it. Not only is it 20 minutes long, unlike the first one, which was only about 10 minutes. Actually, it could have been. Could have been 20 minutes long. But, eh. And secondly, it is a live stream. Or event. So it's not just here, we're gonna dump it out at this time, it's an actual, you have to sit through it. So no skipping over games that I do not care about for me, yay, that's gonna be great. But we're currently about three minutes, two minutes away, so uh, I am going to press pause until there's barely even one minute left. And then, there we go, we'll, we'll be watching, and it'll be like, wow, there's like, one good thing. Alright, so we are one minute away, or 30 seconds away, or 20 seconds away, or 25 seconds away, or 24, or 23, or, yeah, I'm stalling. So it should be coming on extremely soon, like, at any second now. I'm gonna turn up the volume, because why not? Expectations. I want this new Smash character. I want a new Mario Luigi game. I want the 35th anniversary Mario games to be announced. All in 20 minutes and on an indie world. Yeah. Also, aren't they supposed to be called Nindies? Last time I checked, that, that that's what they called. Oh, here we go. 17 plus. Rid your eyes, children. Due COVID 19, release dates, and other things have been changed. Alright. I already knew this. Yay, Super Giant Games. Never heard of them. Wow, that looks really cool. I mean, it looks well animated for the trailer. Okay, is this in gameplay, please? Can I see the actual game portion? And not just how talented the people who you got to make this are? It's like the beginning of the Link's Awakening remake where it's like, wow, is this art style for the entire game? And it switches into the weird toy one. Oh, okay. On behalf of our small team at Super Giant Games, I am really excited to announce our roguelike dungeon crawler Hades. Thank you. You play as the immortal prince of the underworld, trying to escape hell. And each time you die, it's like coming home. You advance the story, get stronger, and gear up for your next escape attempt. Hope you heard that, kids. Die to get further in the game. And in real life. You transfer your progress to the Nintendo Switch version with cross saves. Huh, that's actually really good. Too bad it's only a game that I'm only mildly interested in. We think you'll find something to love. In Hades. Hi. Hi everyone, and welcome Hi, to the generic voice. And look forward at some games making their way to Nintendo Switch. I'm Mariko. And I'm Tyler. And that was a look into the Greek mythology. Okay, so that's what it looks like then. Hades from Super Giant Games. Well, game, it's better than Minecraft Dungeons, I can tell you that much. Ah. <laughs> you'll truly legendary uh. weapons and fight your way through the underworld as you attempt to escape the god of the dead. Unleash the Fury of Olympus when Hades makes its system debut on Nintendo Switch this fall. Ooh. Wow, Ariko, are we back in the 90s? It's so radical. With all of its groovy gifs, animated mouse pointer, and amazingly useful toolbars. Okay. Space Outlaw 
is a portal back to the early days of the internet. Huh. A unique gift, right? Scour the weirdest corners of the net, dodge computer viruses, and hunt down hackers and other virtual villains as you seek to... So is this a port, or is it starting off on Switch? Because it would work way better on PC. ...to start cruising through cyberspace. Technospace Outlaw launches August 27th... Launches, okay. I think that means it's new- Why? Why make a game all about old PCs on something that isn't a PC? That- that is dumb. It's a cat. I mean, this is also well animated, but what is it? I'm going to guess it's a type of RPG. It's the ending of Shrek 4. Can I get a copyright strike from this music? I hope not. Uh -huh. So it's a game? Ah, yes, of course. Oh, Spirit Farer Farer. I've heard about that, actually. I've heard that it's good, but you see. No. In this cozy management game, make some lasting memories before you have to say a final farewell to those not long for this world. As a spirit fair Stella, help the spirits of the dead make their way into the afterlife by transporting them across the seas on your handcrafted ferry. Huh. Befriend passengers. Customize your boat. Explore an imaginative world. Or just go wherever the wind takes you. While you may be right. transporting your spirit friends to the afterlife, it doesn't mean you can't have a little fun along the way. You'll be able to set sail very soon, as Spirit Bearer makes its maiden voyage on Nintendo Switch later today. Wow, alright, that's quick. Later today? That's less than one day! Maybe. Alright, this looks this looks stupid. I like stupid. Give me. Hmm. Store your home. Okay, so it's it's like Animal Crossing with its interactivity with others, and a right, garden story. And you are a poisonous apple. Hi, I'm Heath Brecker, the developer for Garden Story. One of my goals for Garden Story is to inspire community stewardship and showcase the importance of coming together to help one another when times get tough. Oh, your mic quality is as good as mine. When I actually use a good mic. Hi, I'm Jenny from Rose City Games. We're proud to be working with Pika Brain to bring this game to life, and super excited to announce Garden Story will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Which means you'll be able to hang with fruity friends both at home and on the go. Hmm. Like I really do it on the go. Haha, I get it, because right now there's a pandemic still going on. While newly appointed Guardian Comfort may only be a great fresh off the vine, it's up to them to help. Where's the Smash Bros. announcement? Yeah, I think I'm starting to realize now why Nintendo made it a thing. Eat it online. Together. Instead of just dropping a video, it's so that people would have to sit through all of it and actually look at all the games. Instead of being like, oop, never seen it before, so I don't care. Subnautica Switch? Whoa! That game barely runs on Xbox. Or PC. <laughs> oh. I, I'm very happy, but this is going to run terribly. Like, Poppin's gonna be occurring literally three feet from you, if even. 
See, look, you can see everything fading in. But what this actually... Whoa. Below zero as well. Nice. Huh. Early 2021? Okay. Like, as I just said, Subnautica does not run well. As in, you'll have pop in literally right in front of you, but... And it's today as well, alright, that's nice. Alright, so so far there's been one thing that I've been kind of interested in, and that's Subnautica, because it's like, wow, hey, Subnautica, that's great. It's gonna run, as I said multiple times, and it's dying now. Not well. Hey, what's this? Mm, looks nice. I mean, that, that's just what I'm gonna say for most of these. It looks nice. What else am I supposed to say when we're just showing things happening? And the ancient epic. Hi, I'm Shuki Hosh, one of the founders and art directors at Northern Heads Games. Oh, an art director, you made the game look good. Well done. Very first title, Raji and Ancient Echo. Raji is an action adventure game set in ancient India that dives deep into the rich tapestry of Indian culture. Taking inspiration from Hindu and Balinese mythology. All of us here at the studio have grown up hearing such wonderful Hindu tales of epic proportions, surrounded by architectural marvels and the no. vast diversity India has to offer. We hmm. hope you enjoy playing Raji as much as we have loved and enjoyed making it. Wow. Defend the world against the forces of the mighty demon lord. Raji, an ancient epic. Huh. In this intense action adventure, mastering divine weapons such as the fearsome Sharanga bow and the three pronged Christian. So it's actually based on mythology on their mythology as well. Huh. That that that's actually I don't know what to say. It's good. This is an adventure unlike any you've seen before. It's actually getting people who don't interact with the culture at all to actually see what it is. That, that's good. Later today, as a timed exclusive, okay, so we'll be here for like six months and that'll be on everything else. Yeah, I get it. As fresh-faced innkeeper Hank, it's your job to turn this dilapidated shack into a thriving d and Customize each room to your heart's content. Increase your establishment's reputation. And watch as customers let in to stay at your little You all love how it's like those three people look identical. Thanks, a bear. Just be careful about what dwells deep within the forest as your business expands. You never know what secrets are hiding out there in the wilderness. Be among the first. Why'd you need to explore the wilderness? You need you need to make your bed and breakfast better. Time exclusive, exclusive in 2021. Oh, okay. It looks fine. Eh, that's alright. Whoa. Is that the game purposefully looking pixelated or? Whether you stick to the marked trails or go wandering through the back country, there's plenty to discover as you take in the world around you. Hmm. You can even find some treasure hidden off the beaten path. Sure you find the bow. You can now attack other people while in the sky. Great, 10 out of 10 game. You can even go for a jaunt on the water. Yeah, it looks nice, I guess. I mean, 
gameplay wise, actual visual wise, it kind of goes for like a Sonic 3D Blast kind of look, where they're using shading and pixel art to make it look 3D when it isn't. The Creators of Reigns, a game that exists a tale of cards. Whoa. Nobody cheats me? Whoa, okay, he's dead. A game about cheating at cards. So you need to try and count cards. Huh. Okay, that that is interesting. Look at that, he got three of the S's. Huh. That actually looks very good. Okay, that's why I did it then. Police and cheat your way to the top of 18th century French society in card charge. A hmm. new adventure that's all about playing your cards right. As you move from the parlor to the king's table, build up your array of card tricks and use your ill-gotten gains to buy your way into some truly high-stakes games. And if you fail, you get shot. Just make sure you don't get caught. Your fellow gamesters do not take kindly to cheat. Card Shark will make its opening game. Alright, that, that's a bit dark. Next year. If you fail, you get shot to death. Beautiful. Oh, okay, we're going straight into something. Traverse the frontier. Alright, thank you. One of these trailers is actually telling us stuff without having to have some voice going, This game's about this. Collect epic gear. Still about the Minecraft dungeons. Torchlight three. Okay, if there's if this is the third one, then that means that the first one must have been good. So same with the second, same with this one. Right? But a century after the events of the previous game. Torchlight 3 tasks you with delving into the foul dungeons of Alburn to take on powerful foes and collect more precious, precious treasure. For those who wish to flaunt their glittering horde, you can build your own fort. Ah yes, my glittering horde of a rotting log of wood. Beautiful. Alright. And animal lovers will be happy to know that pets make their return, complete with their own skill sets to assist you on your journey. From can you pet shiny. them? Can, can you pet the dog? That is the question. That is the most important thing. If you can't, then I'm not buying it. If you can, I'm not buying it. It's just not my thing. Whoa. You'll need to change your perspective if you hope to navigate through these infinitely repeating structures. Interesting. Don't worry about falling infinitely, though. Gravity will bring you right back where you started, should you take a wrong turn. Huh. This game actually looks really interesting. As Manifold Garden releases later today... Later today again? Wow, there's a good couple ones releasing today. Uh, ignite your sulfur. Oh, it's Ori and the Will of the Wisps. The seek, the prequel. Woo. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know games. 
The only reason I'm watching this is for the hope that somebody's developing a Mario and Luigi like game. Because we all know Nintendo's not gonna bring us one. I mean, they might, but. eh. The chances of them actually doing it are very slim to none. Save the afterlife. Oh, good, we're dead. Great. We're dead. Who cares? We're already dead. Hi. Hi. That's long. Oh, so it's like Bill and Ted 2. Okay. I understand. I understand. No, I don't. While also giving an experience with heartfelt emotion that we hope will touch players with its innocence and humanity. You see, if I were to make a game, it would be nothing like this. Because I suck at making games. Alright, cool. We just saw the trailer, and then we saw the actual people who are making the game talk about it. Why are you also talking about it? We heard everything already. And if people are actually interested, they'll go and look at the description where they'll say all these things. We do not need this much talking. Later today again. Nice. That's it. Time for us to wrap this up. But before we go, oh. here's a quick glimpse at even more indie games that our partners from around the world are currently hard at work on. Oh. Let's check them out. Maven? Alright, looks... I don't care. Going under, all right. That looks weird, but it's in the good way weird. I mean, look at that. All okay. right. Oh, unrailed! I know that game. That's the game where you can lose all of your friends. What? The... what? Huh? Alright, this game looks... weird and horrifying. I like it. Alright, that's a pixel art spooky game. She dreams elsewhere. Oh! That looks Earthbound-like. That looks very Earthbound-like. Alright, then that's one of those puzzle game kind of things. Okay. But no, that looked very Earthbound like. So hey, somebody's developing Mother 4. Nice. Woo! That's it. And that's our show. Thank yep. you so much to all of us. Was that you, Tyler? Excuse me? Oh, no. Goose? Roll the trailer. Roll the trailer. Goose two. Goose one. <gasps> Goose two player. Oh dear. <laughs> two horrible geese. Okay. Okay, Nintendo. Okay. You win. You win. You win. Jeez. Yeah, this game's just been made 1.5 times better. <laughs> A free two-player update. Also a physical release. Okay. Duh. Like, it may be hell for all the characters, but... As always... 
It By wasn't way, for me. We're posting an indie sale over on Nintendo eShop on Nintendo Switch right now, including oh. discounts on some of the games we showed in this presentation. Make All right, there might be an indie title I want today. to pick up, like none of them. On behalf of everyone at Nintendo, a big thank you to all of our amazing partners and developers who are hard at work bringing their labors of love to Nintendo Switch. And of course, thanks to all of you out there for tuning in. Until yeah, it wasn't time. worth my time. I hate this. It sucks. Where was the Smash reveal, huh, Nintendo? Where was the Smash reveal? Alright, so. Overall, this was better. This was much better than the first one. Because in the first one, all we got was the DLC for Cadence of Hyrule, which was pretty good. But this one, free two-player goose game. That's great. Subnautica Switch, that's also great. And a bunch of things are pretty alright that I can't remember, so that might mean they're bad. And then a lot of things I don't care about, which, I mean, it's an indie. As always, I expect everything ever to be announced, and I'm very disappointed. Why, why wasn't a new Mario and Luigi game announced in this indie world? I'm so sad. But in all seriousness, yeah, I wasn't really expecting anything at all, and... Subnaka Switch came to a pleasant surprise, but I'm just extremely worried about that game. It runs on Xbox. It doesn't look all too good. I mean, I did say it, I guess. So all in all, it exists.